I'll tell you something about our project, the BioCompact CE, so you have an idea what, what we're actually trying to do, what we're doing. Uh, this is a project um, that's taken place within the Central Europe uh, program. We started approximately one year ago, so we're still not, not fully in. It's a three-year project. Uh, National Institute of Chemistry is the lead partner. <laughs> I'm the coordinator. We have, uh, well, if I give some basic information, BioCompact C doesn't tell you much, but we have a very long and, and difficult title that was written to have all the right words inside. Developing and strengthening cross-sectoral linkages among actors in sustainable biocomposite packaging innovation systems in a Central Europe circular economy. Okay, that's how you have to write a title so that you have all the key words inside. But the keywords here for me are linkages, so we have to uh, combine different stakeholders, the different actors. Uh, we're focusing on sustainable biocomposite packaging. And of course, we cover the Central European area, that makes sense, uh, and try to adapt to the principles of circular economy. That's, that's what we're, in fact, uh, trying to do. This is about 2 million euros worth. Uh, we have 10 partners. Uh, you can see where they're located. I'm very happy to have very good partners. Uh, now, one year into the project, I think we've created a, a good working team. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, maybe, maybe just to say different actors, of course, we have, let's say, a production company. Uh, well, two, two production companies, a regional development uh, organization, and we have the uh, packaging Institute from Poland. We have a, a cluster, a packaging cluster from Poland, Slovak Technical University, so academic. Omnipak, this is a, uh, the largest cluster. Today, Lega Ambiente, the largest NGO in Italy, very influential. Uh, and InnovHub, that's um, a, a research institute, applied research institute in Milano, working on paper. Uh, so I think we have a very diverse group. I'm very happy with that. So what is, what is our goal? I would say, if I start from the general points, improve uh, Central European comp competitiveness and innovation uh, in sustainable biocomposites. Uh, contribute to circular economy goals strengthen the economy, and establish regional linkages, so to establish cooperation, particularly international cooperation. That's what we are uh, trying to get to. Um, I think these are all points where, where we could all benefit. We, we have a very good basis in all the, let's say, knowledge basis or institutional, instrumental, whatever basis, and all these things can actually help us move forward. Uh, specifically, we will uh, prepare a transnational biocomposite uh, packaging center. This will be a virtual center that uh, will be created during the project and will then continue working. This is the sustainability part. Uh, we'll be working after the end of the project to support a transition to more sustainable uh, product development, production, and use. Uh, we will we're producing guidelines and publications, and we wish to provide illustrative examples of how a change can be done. It's our uh, impression that uh, many users, companies would like to make a change, but they very often hit the wall on sometimes perhaps very trivial problems, but problems nonetheless that, that stop the process. And they need help, they need assistance to come through. We think there's um, enough uh, knowledge to overcome these. We also think there are enough examples that can already be used uh, so that we can help in this transition. And that's what the, the center, this TBPC, will in fact do. So this, this is very theoretical. What the heck are we going to be doing? Well, a very, very good illustration of what we're targeting is this bag. We all use bags like that. They're beautiful. You, you have a packaged 
food item normally that you can see. You can really look at it, see if the mozzarella is fresh or what's in there, how it looks. But it's still packaged. It's beautiful. You have a paper bag and a plastic window. Also, at the cashiers, they know what you bought, so they can ch -ch 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 quickly. Uh, it's, a, it's a great product. That's why it's very popular. I think every day, each of us has one of these things in, in your hands. But it's not just the bag. There are other things as well. The only problem is, where do you put this thing when it's waste? Once you eat your sandwich, where does this go? I agree. If you collect packaging, that should go into packaging. Yes. The question is, what will then happen with it? So you have, so it doesn't go into paper. It doesn't go into plastic. And of course, you can't compost it. It's not compostable plastic for the most part, or very, very, very rarely. Uh, so you have a problem. Actually, at the end of life of the product, which is very quick, in fact. If it's a sandwich, that's by the end of the day or within three days, I would imagine. This becomes waste. And you don't know where to put it. I mean, most customers or consumers, when they have to choose where to put it, they don't know. Paper? Packaging? Mixed waste? And also, when you ask uh, waste management companies, they, they are equally confused. They, they each have their own principles, their own views, and uh, it's a little bit random. So it's, it's a funny situation. Well, not a funny. It's, in fact, a very sad situation. You have two perfectly recyclable materials, paper and plastic. You put them together, and you've created a problem. If this goes into paper recycling, the plastic creates a problem. You have to somehow fish it out. Possibly you're not very good at it. You get bits of plastic in the recycled paper. So you get low quality recycled paper. So nobody likes that very much. If you throw this into plastic recycling, that's even worse because uh, taking paper out is almost impossible. So you really have a problem. So we're not doing that. Anybody who does plastic recycling hates these things. They, they will not even touch them. This, is, this doesn't go into their department. You can't compost it. If you had a simple paper bag, you could compost it. Well, you can't compost this. So all of a sudden, what do we do? So you have incineration or landfilling, which is exactly what we don't want to do if we want to follow the circular economy sort of goals. And we have a beautiful functional product, and we've created a problem. This is what we're trying to change. Okay, so. How we're trying to do this, well, to be simple, there are many options how you do this, but the primary uh, target for us is to create a uh, multi-material product that contains paper and biodegradable or compostable plastic. For us, this is a, a logical solution. It keeps the product almost intact. For the customer, it's equally functional for the uh, let's say, retailers and so on. It, it gives the same possibilities. It's only at the end of life we have different options. And also it could help the customer, let's say, in, in collecting bio waste and so on. So we think this is the main route. There are other routes as well, how to do replacements and so on. But I'll not go into that. How we're trying to uh, get to make a change is first, of course, analysis stakeholders, legislation, practices, needs, plans. That's a phase that we're kind of finishing right now. Prepare guidelines on the basis of that. Establish also gaps. That's, that's a key thing that we are at. We need to right now fix or, or say which are the gaps we are trying to address. Uh, establish an international expert group. I think we're working on that. Text, uh, test expertise and functioning of expert group. That's what we'll do in pilot actions. And formalize the final um, solution center that will work after the end of project. That's kind of the uh, approach. And uh, as I said, pilot projects will give illustrative practical solutions that we can show. If I just go by the work packages, you can see first, Strategy and business support service development. So this is where we do the uh, analysis of the situation and, and make a blueprint for going forward. Then testing. These are the pilot actions. Once we establish the gaps, we address uh, the gaps. And then uh, to establish the uh, support center that functions 
after the end of a uh, project. Of course, we have communication and, and the unavoidable uh, management. Um, I always ask for people to help us. We need input for the analysis. Any input, any experiences are welcome for us. We also uh, need partners in our pilot projects. Pilot projects are done so that we have the, let's say, academic or, or uh, knowledge institutions working together with companies. Uh, so any opinions, proposals are welcome, and we'll have an opportunity to do that uh, later. That's a short presentation so that you understand what we are trying to do.